Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a WAM stack on Windows Server 2019 running on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box and come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed and pre-configured WAM server. So simply click on get it now and then click on continue. After that from this product page you need to click on create. And then you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have and then choose a resource group by the creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. And after that give yourself a virtual machine deployment name. So I'm going to call this one as WAMP and then choose the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once that is done, simply scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. After that, you need to set the size of your virtual machine according to your requirements. Once that is done, simply create a new administrator account by simply creating these credentials over here. So give yourself a username. So I'm going to call mine as CIS admin and then provide a password for this administrator account. Once that is done, simply click on review plus create. After that, simply wait for the validation process to complete. Once the validation process is done, you can now click on create to actually create that virtual machine. After this, you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. For that, simply click on go to resource and then from this overview page, simply click on connect and then choose RDP. After that, simply click on download RDP file and once that file is downloaded, simply click connect and it would launch this prompt which would be of remote desktop connection. Now this is going to ask you for your credentials. So click on more choices and then click on use a different account and then pass in the credential for the administrator account that you created while creating this virtual machine. Once that is done, simply click on OK and then you would get another prompt. So click on yes and then wait for the RDP connection to be established. And once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server to completely load. Once the Windows Server has completely loaded, the very first step that you want to do is that you want to turn on the WAMP Server. For that, simply double click on this icon to launch the WAMP Server. Now launching this server is going to show this icon right over here. And once the icon turns green, this means that the WAMP Server is currently running. Now we can go over the different features of WAMP Server. So WAMP Server generally uses two different types of databases. The first is the MariaDB and the second is MySQL. Now as you can see that currently we are using MariaDB. Now in case you want to use MySQL instead of MariaDB, then you need to simply turn it on from here. Now if you want to head inside the PHP MyAdmin to showcase your databases, then simply double click on this icon right over here. Now on this PHP MyAdmin panel, you can see that it is asking us for the username and the password. For Azure, the username is root and the password is blank. Now, we can choose what database that we want to access, whether we want to access MariaDB or MySQL. And then to simply access the database, click on go. And just like that, you can see that we are currently inside the MariaDB for our WAMP server. Now we can also change the database from here. Suppose that we want to now access MySQL, so simply click on this drop down arrowhead and change it to MySQL. And then this is again going to ask you for the credentials and the credentials are same. So it's root, password blank and then click on go. And now we are inside the MySQL running on port number 3308. Well, you don't have to worry about port numbers because you can set them manually if you want. But by default, currently it is running on port number 3308. Now suppose that you want to invert the default database. Let's say it is set to MySQL and you want to change it to MariaDB or vice versa, you can do that by simply right clicking on this WAMP server icon, then going over to tools and then you have invert default database MariaDB to MySQL. Anyways, let's now talk about how to create a new server or a new virtual host using WAMP server. So suppose that I want to create a virtual host named as CIS. So I will open up this file explorer, click on this PC, head inside C, WAMP and then www. Now in here, I'm going to create the folder for my site. So I'm going to name this as CIS folder and then I'm going to head inside over here. Now to create a virtual host inside this folder, simply click on this icon of WAMP 
and then click on local host. Now this is going to show you this configurator from where I can create a new local host or a new virtual host. Now on this page you can see this button that says add a virtual host click on it and then you can give yourself a virtual host name so I'm going to call this as CIS so that is going to be my site name. Now then I need to pass in the path for the folder of this site. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy this URL from this explorer and paste that over here and then you can leave the local IP as blank and then simply click on start the creation of virtual host. This may take a few moments but once that is done the next step is to actually click on the restart DNS button from the tools inside the WAMP icon. So let's do that. So come over here right click on this WAMP and then in tools we need to click on restart DNS. Now this is going to create a virtual host. Now to verify this new virtual host simply come over to the WAMP icon left click on it and then click on local host. Now in here if you scroll down you can see that the virtual host that we have newly created has a click on button. So click on it and now we are able to access our site which is CIS. Now this means that our virtual host has been configured and running on the port number 80. Anyways that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now make sure to check out all the different tools inside the WAMP icon or you can simply visit the step by step blog post guide on how to set up WAMP on Windows Server running on Azure by simply clicking the link in the description box. And also make sure to check out the link for the marketplace listing for Azure. And finally if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.